Hey guys, it's me, Sherry, and welcome to my channel, Marvelous Middies, where we are focused on ladies 50 and over and living our most fabulous midlife lifestyle. Now, we all know Memorial Day weekend is coming up, so I am so, so, so excited because I'm gonna share some recipes for some Memorial Day mocktails. I am gonna teach you three fabulous tasting mocktails that of course have no alcohol so therefore they're going to be very low in calories and the ingredients that, that I've chosen are designed to speed up your weight loss and speed up your metabolism. Okay. So now all you have to do is relax and enjoy your cookouts and all your parties this weekend and you don't have to worry about breaking your diet. Now frozen margaritas used to be my favorite drink. I was a real margarita girl until I found out that the average frozen margarita is about 680 calories versus let's say a skinny margarita on the rocks which is about 100 calories. Now, now if you're gonna have a high calorie sugary margarita you may as well just have this piece of cake if you're trying to give up alcohol altogether or you just want to give it up for a short period of time say you're pregnant or you're taking medication or you're like me and you're trying to achieve a fitness goal then mocktails are the perfect solution now the great thing about these drinks is that they help you to stay in control of what you're eating and drinking and they only have a few ingredients so most parties will already have these ingredients there when you get there or if you think they may not just make your own and bring them with you and that way you stay in control of your caloric food and drinking intake now one of the reasons why most diets tend to fail is because people feel deprived and you can do that for a short period of time but when you try to do it through extended periods of time or periods of time like parties and holidays when everybody around you is enjoying their food and drink you feel very deprived so what you want to do is you don't want to just deprive yourself altogether of enjoying your food and drinks you want to just totally eliminate the bad foods but the key is you want to replace it with something that you enjoy and something that's low in calories low in carbs and healthy for you all right, ladies, that being said, we are gonna get started with the fun stuff, making the drinks. Okay, guys, so the first drink that we're gonna make up is called my Strawberry Slim Lotta. So it kinda, it's kinda like a daiquiri, a strawberry daiquiri, but a whole lot less calories and hardly any sugar. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take just about a handful, about a handful of ice cubes, put them in our blender. We're gonna take four frozen strawberries, Strawberries, these strawberries are unsweetened and no, there's no sugar added and they're unsweetened. So you can get these from any place. Um, and they're in the frozen food department. Now, I am going to add, I'm gonna be using the flavor of LaCroix. I'm gonna be using LaCroix. I love using LaCroix in a lot of my mocktails and even like my skinny drinks when I am drinking alcohol. This one is the passion fruit LaCroix. Of course, it has no artificial preservatives and no sugar. Now, because it's a fizzy drink, you can't use that much in the blender because it just explodes just all over the place. <laughs> so we don't wanna use much. I only use probably about two ounces because we're only gonna make one drink at a time because when you're using carbonated water or carbonated products, you can't use that much in the blender. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna use is, I only use, like I said, about two ounces of that LaCroix. Now, the other thing that I like to use now is going to be a, it's just a flavored, a bottled generic flavored carbonated water. Now this one is, it's blueberry pomegranate. It's really good. It's just the generic Kroger brand, but most grocery stores have their own flavor and their own branding. So you can find it just about anywhere. I am gonna use about two ounces of that. So equal parts, and I'm just eyeballing it you guys. Now, I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend that up. But if you don't like artificial sweeteners and you wanna use something totally natural, you can go with raw stevia, which you can use about one, let's see, you can use about one spoonful of raw stevia if you'd like, okay? 
Now, if you don't want to go with stevia, you can also use agave. Okay, you can use as much agave as you want. Now, agave does have calories, whereas stevia does not. Okay, it's very low in calories, but it still does have some calories. And for me, I want to try to eliminate as many calories as possible. All right, so let's cook it up. Oh my gosh, guys, this thing tastes just like a strawberry daiquiri, only hardly any sugar, hardly any calories, and no alcohol. Yum. Okay, guys, so this next drink is my absolute fave. This is my signature drink. It's called the Marvelous Midi Mojito, and it's super low in sugar, super low in calories, and it actually has an ingredient that boosts your antioxidant and the other ingredients, only two ingredients, and the other ingredient, it actually boosts your metabolism. So let's get started. Super simple. Let's start with one scoop, scoop of ice cubes. If you want to add more ice cubes, you can, maybe two scoops of ice cubes. Then you want to use this 100% pineapple juice with no sugar added, okay? Make sure there's no sugar added and it's not from concentrate. So I actually went ahead and poured a little bit of that in a measuring cup. And then the second ingredient that you want to use is this box. This is so yummy. It is so delicious. It's, of course, you know it's chock full of antioxidants, and it only has one gram of sugar, guys. And this flavor is actually the coconut fusion flavor. So it already has a little bit of pineapple coconut flavor to give you that tropical pina colada flavor kind of feel to it, although we're doing a mojito. So all we do with this is we're gonna, we're gonna actually use two equal parts to keep it simple. We're gonna use equal parts of pineapple juice, we're gonna use equal parts of pineapple juice and equal parts of ba, and we just pour them in together. It's that simple. Then you want to you want to add a little bit of mint, just as much as you like. I love mint. Mint is so great. It actually is a palate cleanser. It's great for your stomach. Oh my gosh, mint is just, it smells so good. And it's great in mojitos, as you know. So then, of course, you want to squeeze a little bit of lime. And that's it. You want to use the lime garnish. And for some authenticity, you can also go ahead and stick a piece of mint leaf in there. All right, guys, we are all done with this one. Your marvelous Okay, guys, so this mojito. last drink is called the Cranberry Pineapple Pleaser. And again, super simple, hardly any ingredients. You can make it in no time. First, we're gonna start with some ice. To your taste, I mean, as much as you like. And then we are going to use, we're gonna be using 100% pineapple juice, not sweetened and not from concentrate, okay? And then we're gonna use, or at least I'm gonna use, I like to use cranberry juice, but I like to use the light version so it has about half the sugar of regular cranberry juice. Sometimes you can find it and it has sweetener already in it, and I try to find the ones that don't have any sweetener in it, but this one is the light version, and I really like the taste of it. So all we're gonna do is, again, we're going to use equal parts of pineapple juice and equal parts of cranberry juice. That keeps it really, really simple. You just pour those in together like a professional. There you go. That's about four ounces each. And then I'm gonna top it off with LaCroix. This LaCroix that I'm using, this is actually the Cran, ras the cran Raspberry flavor. All right, so you wanna pour a little bit of LaCroix in there just to top it off and give it a little bubble. And that's it, three simple ingredients. Now, you wanna stir it up a little bit. I always like to give my drinks a little shot of lime because it adds that extra punch and that, it, that metabolism burn. So then all you wanna do is garnish it with a nice orange and another little piece of lime. And there you have it. In less than five minutes, you've got your cranberry pineapple pleaser. Okay guys, that was so simple and so easy. These drinks are really, really delicious. They're great for you and they'll keep you on track this weekend. Don't let one weekend throw you off track. You've worked so hard. Let's help each other stay on track and achieve our fitness and our weight loss goals. Now, if you like these drinks and you like this video, please like it, share it, 
with all your girls and subscribe to the Marvelous Mini channel. I'd love to see you next time. Of course, go to the comment section and you can get all of the specific ingredients that I use and all of the measurements. Also, you can check me out at Instagram at Sherry.Estevez or on Facebook at Sherry Estevez. Bye guys. See you later. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend.